channel so another chance you get ready with me and I know you're probably like what the hell is she wearing is that the jumper and yes it is because I'm just freezing a little bit in this room I don't know why but it's so cold today okay look so I'm very excited to film today's video because again I will test some new products I just went again to the Fenty Beauty counter here in Edinburgh in Harvey Coast and I got another highlighter and I also got a few things that will come that they will send as PR samples so I cannot wait to have them. Plus, I also received some products from Girlactic, which I've never tried Girlactic products in the past. But yeah, I'm curious to test some of their products. And I also sent everything in this sparkly makeup bag. So that is really nice. I like sparkly things. Okay, so we'll start with my Kill Cover Concealer from Clio in my eyes. Now, I do have a little bit of rant today. Well, not really. I just want to, you know, tell you a couple of things. Uh, something that is really, you know... Mm, I, I just want to say something, okay? I recently watched a, a very popular YouTuber reviewing the Fenty Beauty line. And I saw some other people again reviewing it. And some people love it, some people hate the products or just don't like some of the products. Now what I noticed is that when a popular YouTuber, or not even a very popular YouTuber, uh, will review this like Fenty line, Fenty Beauty line, and for example they don't like a product, and they say this in the video and it's not working for them or whatever it is, um, or maybe they're not like super enthusiastic about this line you can notice in the comment section like a lot of people saying that oh finally an honest review the most like the most honest youtuber here in the beauty community you are telling the truth and again something that I noticed a lot of youtubers right now I don't know if it's a trend or what they use honest in their title and this really just I don't know I was wondering you know so if you didn't use this word in the past in your titles or if you don't use it right now it means that you are not honest about this review that you are giving to this product for and again for some reason when they have this like in the title people will say yes your review is the most like honest one you are so amazing you are telling the truth and blah 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 so i just need to understand this so some people really think i mean you are your intelligence level is so low that you will actually think that somebody is more honest if they put the honest word in the title or if they don't like the product and the product did not work for them and actually I received a couple of messages on my Instagram uh, some people saying that um, oh you like so much this uh, Fenty Beauty foundation is like really strange and oh you are promoting the product or blah 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 you are now posting a picture on your Instagram telling you know the shade and all that jazz which I mean everybody is doing this right now because of course you can be promoted on the Fenty Beauty page and usually if you watch my videos, if you watch my... if you follow me on my Instagram I don't care about these things, I can mention only you know a couple of products that I'm using on my face and that's it but if I have the chance you know to get like promoted on their page why I would not do this? especially if I really like the foundation if I really like the highlighter and plus this thing with you know I like the foundation I hate the foundation it's working for me it's not working for me first of all we're all different different skin tones different skin types you know I may have a combo skin you may have dry skin somebody has a very acne prone skin uh, has a lot of texture on the skin uh, maybe has acne but really dehydrated skin really flaky 
we are all different so it's impossible that the product will work you know the same on every person people also take care more about their skin so apply a lot of skincare uh, they know how to prep the skin uh, it's in really good condition exfoliate don't exfoliate so it's a bit strange for me when I see this kind of stuff you know if somebody will not like this foundation you will tell them oh yes you are so honest and this is like like a super review and blah, blah blah and if somebody likes the foundation you will tell them you know oh you're doing this just you know for the company you want uh, to be noticed uh, you want to be noticed by Rihanna which is insane I mean uh, you really think that she will say and you know like or watch uh, all these like posts right now that people post for Fenty Beauty I freaking love the Fenty Beauty soft matte foundation I've been wearing this foundation for like the past four days and I really just cannot stop wearing it I don't need my Giorgio Armani, I don't need my Suku, I don't need what else? My Maybelline Fit Me, which I really like from the drugstore. I don't need anything. I just need this foundation. And I actually went today to uh, have a better like match for my foundation because I got a shade that is a little bit dark for me. And with the oxidation part, yes, it will oxidize because it's a mattifying kind of foundation. All the mattifying foundations that I've tried in my life will oxidize a little bit and to be honest i don't have a problem with the shade that i picked because i can use that you know when i have some false tan on so basically my advice to you is just to go in a physical store if you can and to test everything uh to test the shades to walk around to see how they oxidize on you um, this foundation sets and because it gives you that more mattifying look even though it's not super mattifying it's like a satiny finish for me um, it will, you know, have like a darker color uh, after like a minute, two minutes, um, or even like 10 minutes. Of course, watch a lot of reviews, not only one or two reviews, watch a lot of reviews because we are all different, as I mentioned. And if a person tells you this is good, you will not just rush and buy it. I mean, that's really, it's, it's, this is not okay. Now I will actually use Tea Light from the Baked Browns Dot of Colors palette, which I love this palette so much. And I will go ahead and talk about the comparison that people right now talk about. Um, the KKW Beauty and the Fenty Beauty. First of all, I don't understand how you can say that the packaging is similar. Yes, maybe the color, that's nudish light pink color, which I also love. Um, but you, I hope you can imagine that actually, you know, when you create a brand, like a mega brand, you think about the packaging and you think about the product like uh, probably a year, two years in advance. So it's not like, oh, Rihanna saw the, you know, Kim Kardashian packaging and then one month, two months later, she came up with you know, this Plus, design. If you will see the Fenty Beauty packaging like in real life, if you will touch the product, it's not cheap cardboard packaging like Kylie or like Kim K. Uh, it's not like a two grams of product that melts straight away when you apply it on your face and then you can use it 10 times and that's it for that contour. contour sticks have more product i also how to say more of a harder formula a bit more definitely not as creamy i went to the counter a couple of times the girls were working on clients all the time and i can still see you know that the contour sticks are still going strong i mean you still have a lot of products in them uh, and I tried you know to swatch them to see uh, how they melt in a way or you know how much product you waste and then the brushes the brushes on the Uriana's line are really you can see that a professional worked on designing them especially the brush for the highlighter the shape is just incredible like hugs your you know like all the high points of your cheek plus also 
the foundation bottle, the uh, primer bottle, those are heavy and super like high quality packaging. It's nothing, you know, like, you know, just to throw in there. She has a lot of different shades, even in the uh, match sticks, a lot of undertones. You can see that, you know, they were working with some professionals, not just a makeup artist. Let's be real, you'll pay for that Kim Kardashian contour palette, whatever it is, um, around $50. And I actually tried that palette and I swatched, I swatched the medium one. And you will pay for that around $50, plus if you're buying it, you know, uh, from US and it comes to UK, it comes to Europe, again, you'll pay taxes. 20%, more than 20%, whatever it is. And you pay that amount of money for what? Like for what you are paying this? For a mediocre product that don't have like the most amazing ingredients ever, has a cardboard packaging, or even if you take the contour sticks, a plasticky packaging. And yes, they look nice, they look pretty girly, light pink, ho oh, oh, ho, oh, fairy dust and whatever it is. But let's be honest, you pay more because it's Kim Kardashian name there and not because it's an amazing product so yeah and the Rihanna prices are like really just like MAC prices which I consider to be not really high-end not really low-end like drugstore really just in the middle like medium Same. range I bought you know when she just started her makeup line I bought two lip kits which were okay, but I mean, I have my Wet n Wild liquid lipstick, but that is the same. My Golden Rose liquid lipstick that costs like uh, 4 euros here in Europe, 4 or 5. And that's amazing. So, yeah, I don't know why I paid so much money for those products, even though I like the shade Malibu. I will admit that. Sir. And. It was nothing special, it's called French Vanilla, I think I still have it, or maybe I gifted that to someone. It's just like a simple powder highlight that is not even like super beaming, it's not even a bit more, I don't know, maybe like creamy, it's just like a simple regular highlighter in a cardboard packaging that costs a lot of money. And that's it. So yeah, and these Fenty Beauty highlighters, I actually bought another one right now, another duo. These are fire. <laughs> okay, now I'll finally move on to my crease because I will talk for ages. Um, I don't even know what I will do today. Well, I will actually start with this shade. Yeah, with this shade, which is called Outdoorsy. Did I mention that I love this palette? I love it love it so much and I was actually speaking with um, you know the girls at the Fenty beauty counter and they hope that Rihanna will release some eyeshadows some lipsticks very soon maybe for holidays I would love that Plus maybe like a glowy foundation for people that don't like the soft matte and that don't like, you know, mattifying foundation. By the way, I'm using the Zoeva uh, 228 brush, which I really like for the crease because it's quite fluffy, but you can see it's a bit, you know, like tulip shaped in a way, a bit tapered at the end. And I feel like, you know, it places the product and then also it blends everything really nicely. And now again, going back to tea light and blending everything here. So I have a soft crease. So I think I'll use my Visart palette. Oh, my boyfriend just came. I should go and open the door. But firstly, I will tell you that I will use this shade from the Visart palette. Okay, so my boyfriend just came home. Hello, guys. Hello, hello. And I was just talking to him about the, you know, the honesty of YouTubers. And I'm also eating my favorite snack right now, which, not snack, I don't snack. I just, you well, know. it's a snack. It's a snack, but I don't use it as a snack. I mean, you know, like people eat snacks in between the meals. Yeah. I don't do it like this. I just eat it, you know, after I eat my meal. 
and is this this is so good <laughs> I already ate a few today like four <laughs> and it's just coconut it's sun-dried it's not like you know with oil and other nasty stuff and you have some salt and that's it and it's okay so we were talking about honesty about youtubers and he knows that you know when I don't like something or if I see something that I don't like I will just rant about that thing forever so he knows me and he likes to yeah, but you know what we always like to do? We like to have two separate points of view mm -hmm. and like to debate it in a nice way and just present our argument for this. Yeah, time. because sometimes I can be, you know, you can be maybe my point of view yeah. is a bit too subjective in a way and sometimes you can balance this out. Yeah, I mean, I mean, but I mean, on this matter, on this specific matter, with, you know, when they say honest in the title, yeah, you agree with me that it's... I do agree, but you see, anyway, I have another point of view. I have marketing background, so I know how it works. I know how people need to do a clickbait stuff, how to... So, so they do it just for the it, clickbait. Just, so, yeah, but, see, but this automatically, in a way, means that the other videos yeah. in which I didn't use, you know, the title, Honest or Honest yeah. AF, like drama, also drama. It means that they're not honest. See, see, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure they. They should they, be honest every time. I mean, in every video, you should be honest. It's not, you know. But what I'm trying to say is that I'm sure they're honest in the majority of their videos. Maybe mm -hmm. I haven't watched them, but I would assume they're honest. But the thing is, when you as a human want to emphasize something, to underline one of the ideas, you put this word in front. I know maybe it sounds silly from the side. But maybe the reason was to, uh, I don't know, to give a question. Or maybe you know what, why they're doing that. Because the majority of the videos on the YouTube are kind of fake, with lots of fake information. And they kind of want to stand out in front of them. That's why we put this word honesty. And maybe some of the people see this word and clicking on the video. But it's maybe how our human yeah. behavior works. And well, I understand, but at the same behavior. time, I don't want to use this word because I'm honest in all my videos. Like, I'm, I'm sure, what I'm sure. is the point? I'm sure all your subscribers know about that. That's why they're following you for years because they know you're honest all the time. So it's just another style of of, of, of being for for other people, mm -hmm. for other YouTubers. So I, I don't think. And right now they really like drama. It, in YouTube is very popular this thing that you know <laughs> See, they yeah. like drama, I mean, drama titles, yeah. drama thumbnails. One day you know you know when I posted the thumbnail that was. Um, it was more, people say that it was a bit more like clickbaity mm -hmm. and a lot of people were upset and of course, you know, I didn't sure. implement that same technique in my other videos because if you don't like this... But see, but see that's the difference of your audience and someone else's audience so maybe someone else's audience are 12 years girls who are looking for drama kind of experiences and so on where you go to another channel but uh, maybe our audience is more mature with our taste, with our views that's why we love your channels it's like, you know, it's like watching movies someone likes mm -hmm. stupid American comedy shows <laughs> and so on and someone loves uh, documentary movies or like drama movies uh, and so on it all The Invisible Guest Exactly, it's a, it all depends on the, of our own taste so I don't, I don't think we can blame these people and so on, I mean, that's their choice, we can do whatever they want. Yeah, but again, I also told them about, you know, when a YouTuber likes a product and a YouTuber will not like the product. And people usually will say, oh, you know, the YouTuber that will not like the product and will rant a little bit about the product, it means that it's more, you know, honest in a way, and that review is really just honest and blah blah blah. And the other person is like not honest, but we are all different. I mean, that's normal that the people, you know, some people will like this and some people will don't like it. Maybe it's just not working for them. So, how can you say that you know somebody is honest if, if you don't know exactly how this product works? And yeah. see, actually, actually, I agree with you, and I was analyzing the. Uh, actually with social media itself and influencers a couple of years ago and the thing was which was uh, really good for me to learn was that I mean having influencers you can now have a honest opinion, opinion about something yeah. 
without as as not like in TV when you see advertising. Yeah, yeah. But it's more like this, real life. This, this market is growing so fast. And there are so many influencers uh, on YouTube. You cannot find any more this truth which was like a couple of years ago. So, yeah. So I, I think because people, it's so oversaturated. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I think yeah, we had lots of people, and it's all the question of price. So let's say if a brand pays someone a lot. They're ready to sell their part, yeah. their Yeah, and how they go sell. like in trips, okay. they go in trips in Bora Bora, they go in trips, in, which is really nice because, you know, it's good when you work mm -hmm. and when a brand notice you mm -hmm. and you go in such trips and they launch a new product and that's really amazing. But when you will review that brand's products in the future, yes, I will you be really honest about the product or maybe will not if it's not good you will just say you know you will be more like neutral but see, that's even brands they don't care too much about if you're honest yeah. they, they want you to tell their product is nice even if it's not and you know what think about toys and kids are having toys a lot and why kids don't like playing too much if educational toys but they prefer like fidget spinners and other stuff yeah and that's the same analogy here so i mean that's your audience they wouldn't want to listen too much for honest opinion or honest point of view maybe sometimes we want to hear something yeah, I don't that, know how to it's explain fun that. maybe yeah, or just yeah. you know might be or maybe because they like the person that's youtuber or that instagrammer mm -hmm. and they will watch everything they will yeah, buy everything they sell in a way see i think i don't like uh, i don't like to uh, to say this, but sometimes I feel like this is happening with me, maybe with Apple products, and sometimes I might say, I'm, I honestly see that this product is shit. Yeah. <laughs> it has some functions which just are not suitable for me, I want something else, but anyway, I'm, something like, crazy, in you? I'm like crazy buying Apple products, yeah. looking on the website, and I'm, I mean, and see, see that's, that's a very complex thing, and actually, the psychology of marketing it's something which is heavily invested now, big brands are investing and so on and that's, that's, that's why we love so many products which we don't need to use them that often I think yeah. for example uh, Coca-Cola, it, it's tasty, I, I know you don't drink it, I might do that not that often but very rare but it, 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 it's tasting good honestly yeah, I, uh, tried, I tried Coca-Cola when I was 10 mm -hmm. and then another time when I was like 12-ish yeah. Yeah. And that's it. I never. I don't know. I might. More. I might have like a small can of coke once. But in sometimes you like a good unhealthy yeah, 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 yeah. and unhealthy and, and thing. See, we need to. We need to say that it's. We, I mean, that's well known fact that this is that famous and so on. Thanks to advertising. Thanks to yeah. the campaigns they're making. And uh, see, the profit margin is quite small. Because the majority of their revenue, their turnover, they're advertising. investing in advertising again. So it works like a loop. And uh, that's, that's why we have so many partnerships with different brands, mm -hmm. like Czech Daniels and other big brands to promote their products. So it's now kind of iconic thing because of this stuff. And see, even if you'd ask someone to review Coca Cola, they'd be saying good words. And see, a doctor might argue about that because Coca Cola is not healthy for you. But that's their opinion. They yeah. believe in the stuff they're saying. So I think that might be exactly the same with YouTubers. Maybe the product is really shit, like something related to makeup, but their psychology likes the, project, uh, the product that much. But they'd be very honestly saying about this product on their videos. Yeah, so they're actually honest. Yeah, so. But inside of them so let me ask you it's, a question it's like a tricky question because i know i have these things um if i really like the brand if i really like yeah. all their products and yes. if i see a product that i don't like so much i just think about that product that i just don't understand it yet mm -hmm. so i need to try to work with that product in different ways to find you know the perfect way i have this sometimes but i mean if the product will be really bad then bye I will not say it. But let me ask you a question, and you think about that. But <laughs> can you find what is truth? I mean, the definition of this word. In I don't know because, as you exactly, said, exactly, as you said, if you see, you have this thing inside of you, you are not like yes. conscious about it. So yes. you are telling your truth in a way, but you like. 
no, everything is subjective, so you have yeah, your own truth, you have your own truth, see? And when we have sometimes like small arguments and we're speaking about something which I disagree with you, so I have my truth, which I believe, and yeah, you have yeah. your, your one. And sometimes there is never going to be like middle way or like, I would say, maybe points to agree because we, but I think it all depends on our background of how we were educated, how we see things and uh, which environment we have, what kind yeah, of friends yeah. we have. Yeah, and go so. back to this video. So I will use my Art editorial palette and I will use, I don't know, this red shape. I will do like a red eye uh, each day. Do you like this palette? Yeah. It's very crazy. <laughs> yeah, the colors are too bright. <laughs> you don't like when I wear bright colors. Yeah, I do. I like any color on you. You don't like when I do smoky eyes. No, I like when I do smoky eyes. You know, I like when I do smoky eyes, but when I don't have black inside the eye. Because I feel like it looks brighter. Yeah. But you really hate on me a good smoky well, eye. You know, I don't hate you, I just remember one of our first dates. <laughs> when we when we were friends and you got yeah, this I wear uh, something with green and very dark, also a dark brown in the crease. And I I was thinking that I'm the most like beautiful. No, you were the most beautiful. <laughs> but not with so yeah. I mean the pictures, but I mean the photos were a bit crazy, but so yeah, it's not looking good in photos. It's all about the lighting. You should have good lighting every time. <laughs> You do some photos. And I'm using the same brush for this. And I will also use a little bit of this orangey shade. This palette is very very good and the shades are bright but you need to pack the color in order to get that really, you know, high intensity, high pigment. So that's nice, especially for beginners when you don't know exactly what you're doing and going back with uh, tea light to blend everything now I will apply my Stylelanda sparkling liquid pigment in the shade Joyful and I will apply this with a brush this is very creamy liquidy it's super gorgeous and I will apply this with my Zoeva 234 brush and really just pop it in here you can see this is super shiny and right now I will use uh, my witch pouch um, this is called uh, selfie fix pigment in my romance number five and place this really just uh, in the center of the lid we like extra shine extra glow okay i will let it set for a little bit and then i will apply that reddish shadow again a little bit in the crease and my outer piece. okay now i can apply a little bit more of that reddish shade a little bit here and also in the crease okay now i'm taking my uh precise eyeliner marker from Yolactic, which looks like this me actually oh this is actually really nice it's really black it's a felt tip it's a stiff one so but it's very black so I will just dot this like on my lash line already this is really black that's good and also you know I don't mind this felt tip when I do my dotting tip okay and now I will take my lash curler from Japan. I always say from Japan because I don't remember the name of this one. <laughs> so yeah, I bought this in Japan. <laughs> and it has like a comb. And now mascara, my lash expander liquid extension from uh, Mallorca, Mallorca. One of my favorites. Okay, doc, so I just popped some false lashes on and I cleaned my face and now I'm ready to do the face. Uh, and I have um, this like little sample booklet thing and I will use the primer from here. You can see all the shades in here. 
I'll use the primer from here because I don't have the primer. I don't own it yet. <laughs> I actually tested this in the store. It felt really lotiony, so I will apply a little bit in here. And this is. Um, Smells really lotion as well. Well, usually I'm not a fan of fragrance in makeup products or in skincare, but this smells really nice, like skincare, skincarey. Oh my god, I have some on my lashes. <laughs> you already know that I own the 190 foundation, which has a neutral undertone. And that one is a bit too dark for me. So today I will actually use the sample that I have in here that is lighter. This is 150. It's again with a neutral undertone. I actually chose um, the foundation that I will receive very soon. It's 140 with a warm undertone, really yellowy. That one looked the best on me today when I, you know, got matched. I will just pop some in here. And then try to apply it. Okay, so this shade actually works for me pretty well, um, but I still think that I need a little bit of that warmth. So you can see here that my um, it has a bit more yellow. I mean, my skin has a bit more yellow. Okay, now moving on to concealer, the Kill Cover Concealer from Clio. I don't have the concealer sticks. Now, the match sticks, um, they do have like a drier, creamy formula. Uh, it's not super emollient, not super creamy, like really creamy. So, this can be a good thing and this can be a bad thing, depends. Um, again, what you prefer, but um, I would suggest just to warm up a little bit of product on the back of your hand. And a little bit in here, because I have that blemish. Not really a blemish, it's more like a dried blemish. Now I'm taking my powder, my vanilla co hydrating powder, on my beauty blender, and I'm applying this in here try to blend it this really helps with creasing underneath my eyes now i will powder my t-zone this is my makeup forever blush brush i'll try to actually use this uh galactic i really like the packaging so nice this is their matte bronzer in cabo which actually looks really nice. It's not like a super warm bronzy shade, like you know, you know your typical bronzy shades. So I will try to use this actually as a contour to see how it works with my Coriolan brush. Definitely a little bit more, you know, warm than my usual contour shades. Because I do like a very cool toned contour. <laughs> that is a really pretty bronzer shade, especially for me. This is probably the best bronzer I've ever tried. It's matte, super pigmented not super orange so now i will actually also apply a little bit of contour and i will apply with the same brush and a little bit of my raw amber from Sino cosmetics just more like in here i will put it more in here and then up a little bit now i will apply a little bit of ofra bellini blush and marry this with my contour and now i want to finish with eyes outdoorsy again i will apply outdoorsy in here and then i will apply the red wizard eyeshadow now i will use my civil hills brow gel 
Now we're using my Etude House Play 101 pencil in number 7. Super right in my waterline. And I will use this uh, my lash for that sophisticated appearance mascara. So isn't this the more like, I don't know, interesting name for mascara you've ever heard. <laughs> okay, now moving on to highlighter and as I said, I bought a new kilowatt highlighter and mean money and hustler baby and this is how it looks like it's pretty so pretty it's definitely warm toned uh has a lot of gold in it and i decided to get this one because i know that the other one the other lighter one i will receive very soon which i actually i think i Mm, I'm not sure. I like both of me. Mm -mm. But this one is also pretty, so I decided to buy this one. Okay, I will start with this. And then I will apply it to the V-Wing one. This is a very um, daytime appropriate side. It's still, I mean, you can... It's still there. You can still see it. But you will see the second one. Also, I feel like this one will not accentuate any kind of, you know, skin texture. Of course, if it's too bad, then... I mean, I don't think that there is highlighter that will not accentuate that. But this one, for just, you know, small kind of texture problems, um, is actually really good. And now, let's go with Hustler Baby. Which will be... Yes, come through. My god. Okay, well, I usually go overboard with my highlighter when I'm filming videos, not in real life. In real life, I will use something like this. Well, unless I'm going to a party thing, you know. The thing with these highlighters, you just want to apply more and more and more. And then you need to buff everything because you apply too much. Okay, so actually, change of plans. I decided to switch to uh, Dose of Colors Savage, so Daisy and Katie collaboration. I think this looks nicer, and I want to do something nice. Dark. So, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!